Hello and welcome to The Minutes Within the Mist, where we look to the night skies to bring you stories about cryptids, ghosts, and other mysteries. Today, we're going to tell you the story of the NASA Gargoyle. NASA archivist Frank Shaw was returning home late one night in 1986 from the Johnson Space Center located in Houston, Texas. Something caused him to look upwards into the night sky as he was moving to his car at the end of his shift, and he saw something. It was a horrific, black, gargoyle-like creature perched threateningly on the edge of one of the Space Center's buildings. A large cape seemed to drape across its shoulders with two massive bat-like wings sticking out from either side. Not only had he seen the creature, but it had stared directly down at him. Shaw was stunned by the sight and unable to move, his heart pounding within his chest. The humanoid monstrosity seemed to possess an ability to cause an irrational fear in the archivist, and it was enjoying the fact that it had managed to inspire such terror in the man. Unable to move and barely able to comprehend what was occurring, the gargoyle spread out its wings, which Shaw stated made a crackling noise. Then it lifted off into the air and took flight in the powerful howling wind. The sound of the crackling wings released him out of his stupor, and he turned to sprint towards his car. Shaw fumbled with his keys, unlocked the car door, and raced off into the blackness of the night. He was so terrified that he didn't even dare to look back to see if he was being pursued by this winged abomination. Shaw told his family, but decided not to tell his superiors about the incident at first. This was in order to protect his credibility, but as the days turned into weeks, he was unable to get the memory of this encounter with this flying monstrosity out of his mind. Finally, Shaw decided to take a deep breath, focus up his courage, and confide in his immediate supervisor. Much to Shaw's amazement, he was not met with skepticism or laughter. He was informed that he was not the first employee to see this prowling creature in the night. In fact, there may be many reports going on of a nighttime flying creature. I hope you enjoyed the story of the NASA gargoyle, and we'll come again for more stories about cryptids, ghosts, and other mysteries. Until then, look up into the night sky and remain constantly curious.